So now I'm going to show you what I do. This is how I take a shower. So I will do my bowel care and my um, uh, bladder care. And then I push my chair as far away as I can. So these are the legs that go with it. So let's see, I can maneuver things around with my grabber all the time. I would have to flip them out. I put my feet up. You can use your elbows to actually pull up your clothes. I lean and push up, and that way I can really push up and do almost really a full push up if I needed to, to get my clothes. So that's what's nice about having the wheelchair commode chair instead of just your standard bench. I feel much more safer, longer arms, it's not short, so I don't fall over because of balance. This is my roll-in shower. So you can see I have grab bars on both the front and the side. I don't need it for the back because I have a wheelchair. So I really don't need, there's nothing behind me that I'm gonna grab. So honestly, so I use this bar to shave my legs. So I'll just put my leg up on the bar and that's how I shave my legs. And then of course, you've got your, just your length that can just reach and then shower this way. So that's that. I've got my shampoos, my shaver, and everything is all right there that I can lean on there. To get out of the shower, I take these legs off. So these legs come off, they're removable. So I do take this one off. Because of the shortness of, you know, depending on how you know long you have, I then tuck this one underneath. So now it's just the chair with no legs. And then I'll put on my brakes and then I just have to go backwards and just face it and I will roll backwards. Now I suggest that because it's wet, it's a little bit harder to get off the lip. So just have a towel when you're drying off. I keep my towel I keep two towels, one for my lower half, one for the upper half, and then I have a t-shirt that I wear to the bed. So that's totally, you know, personal preference. Then I just come up as close as possible to the bed, lock your brakes, make sure that's a huge thing. This one, these arms, both arms do come out, so depending on what, where side of the bed you are on, I just lift that up, and then of course I'm just gonna pop over onto the bed. So I just go as close as possible to the edge and then I pop over. And I have my bed rail so that I can balance myself. But worst case, you're gonna fall onto your bed. That's okay, you're on a flat surface. So you can really see the height is pretty close. So you won't need to worry about that. And before actually I go onto the bed, I will move this chair as much as I need to when to come as close to me as possible I can I'll flip it around to how I'm going to transfer and that's why I have a grabber because I can grab my clothes off there of course I always keep like my clothes on here so that I'm going to get dressed in so I get dressed in bed so when I'm after I'm you know I'm showered I'm getting dressed in bed so I have all my clothes pre-prepared at the end of my bed before I even transfer over. But now, once I'm in bed, I need to get back into my chair. So you want to have it as close as possible to you. But if it's a little bit further away, I've got my grabber where I can just grab onto the bar. Or if it was the other way around like I had it, then I could grab it from here. So either way, just keep it as close so that you can transfer back and, and way within reach. So that makes you absolutely 100% independent in regards to taking a shower. So you don't have to rely on anybody or anything. It's, this wheelchair can do anything with you.